Did you know that in Serious Sam Siberian Mayhem, you can find this? So this is, of course, the Holy Hand Grenade, as seen in Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Now, I know what you're thinking. What happens if you try to pick it up? Well, let's take a look. Now, normally, every enemy in Serious Sam is out for your blood, but this one blows up next to you and drops a load of health pickups, which was nice of them. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Video Game Easter Eggs, the series where we cover some of the best Easter eggs found in video games. As always, if you think you know of a video game Easter egg that I'm yet to cover, then let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to check it out. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. Right, let's begin today's video with Brazilian Root. In the last episode of this series, I mentioned that a loading screen in Brazilian Root straight up says that there are at least five Easter eggs in each level. And that was all the motivation I needed to head back to the favelas of Brazil. I've spent hours scouring Brazilian Root in an attempt to find everything. And even though I'm not quite there yet, I am making progress. The first Easter egg for today's video can be found on the first level and is one of the most straightforward Easter eggs I think you'll ever see. I mean, a poster of an Easter egg with the phrase Easter egg motherfucker printed on it is about as straightforward as Easter eggs get. Next up is an Easter egg that is a little more subtle. On the game's fourth level, you can find this. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why has this funky helmet got a fork stuck to it? Well, this helmet belongs to Magneto, the magnetic mutant from the X-Men franchise, hence the fork stuck to the helmet. The other Brazilian root easter egg that I found will be immediately recognisable to RPG fans. On the game's final level, you can find this. So all of these items are references to Skyrim, with the helmet in particular being a reference to the iconic iron helmet as seen in the game. I think that's 10 easter eggs found now, and with the game having 6 levels that means we are some way off finding them all, but rest assured I will keep looking. Up next is the stupidly satisfying Power Wash Simulator. If ever there was a case of a game living up to its name, then it's Power Wash Simulator. You take on a variety of different jobs with the sole intention of cleaning dirt. That's it. It's brilliant. Now, I didn't go into the game with the intention of finding anything video worthy, but it turns out that in Power Wash Simulator, you are always being watched. On every level, you can find a gnome that seems to have taken a liking to you. Sometimes they're easy to find, like this one here, and sometimes they're not. Power Wash Simulator isn't a game with a deep backstory, but I really want to know what the deal is with these gnomes and why they seem so fascinated by my power washing skills. Right, it's no secret that you guys are extremely important to this channel. Not only do you watch my videos, but I'd say that around 80% of the easter eggs and details on this channel are a result of your suggestions, and I don't say this enough, but I really appreciate it. Usually when something is suggested, I ask where in the game can the easter egg or detail be found, and is it random? That last question is the most important. You don't want to know how long I've spent trying to record something due to an easter egg or detail being random. Well, when Andre Viana messaged me about some easter eggs in The Walking Zombie 2, I asked those same questions. And even though Andre said the easter eggs in the game were found in random encounters, I thought that I could have them recorded in a couple of hours. Well, nine hours later, and here we are. I underestimated just how much of a grind this game is. I'm sure it's fine if you play it in 10 to 15 minute bursts, but trying to reach a certain part in the game to record some of these random encounters almost broke me. Anyway, before we get to the random encounters, there is an appearance from a very famous face, though for legal reasons, it's definitely not him. Let me introduce you to the mayor of Springfield.
I will build a great, great wall, and zombies will pay for it. Trust me, friend, they are not sending their best. A wall will solve everything. Zombies, bandits, ill, poor, old, and ugly. So this is an obvious parody of former US President Donald Trump, who still seems obsessed with building walls. Right, now it's time for one of those random encounters. When you reach the City of Sun, there is a chance that you will encounter a Viking. If you decide to face the encounter, this will happen. So it seems like the Viking tried a leap of faith. Let's see how they got on. Yeah, it didn't end well for the Viking. This is obviously a reference to Eivor from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. There was another random encounter I found, but it was a bit poop. What? I did say it was poop, what did you expect? There are more random encounters to find in The Walking Zombie, but for my own sanity, I had to stop playing. I'm sure I'll get around to recording some more encounters soon. Up next is the excellent Splitgate. Recently, the Abyss map was giving the remaster treatment. I mean, the game is still in beta, so why maps need remastering already is anyone's guess. Still, there is a positive to take from Abyss and its premature remastering, and that's the addition of a very hard to find Easter egg. I say it's hard to find because to reach it, you have to change a few settings first. That means setting your jetpack to as strong as it can be and removing the map's boundaries. As soon as you've done that, you'll be able to head out of bounds and find this. If I'm honest, I'm not sure who or what this is, so if anyone can enlighten me in the comments, it would be appreciated. Right, let's end today's video with a good old fashioned mystery. In a world as richly detailed as Fallout New Vegas' Mojave Desert, the opportunity for interesting locations is massive, and locations don't get much more mysterious than a cemetery. If you visit the cemetery at Good Springs and listen very carefully, you can hear this. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that cemeteries are creepy at the best of times, but if I was standing in one and started to hear whispering, I'd be out of there sharpish. As for the reasoning behind the whispers, I'm not entirely sure. It'd be interesting to actually work out what they're saying, but I can't make sense of it. To me, it sounds like they aren't saying anything at all. Let me know your theories down below. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then leaving a like is really appreciated. If you are a fan of Easter eggs and secrets in video games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.